I don't even know how. I did not wake up today thinking I would be saying this, but Piranha Plant is now a playable fighter in Smash? and somehow it actually looks sick. What's going on guys, it's Thomas on the Switch Stop and I hope you guys enjoyed that direct as much as I did. I know there are gonna be some people upset about various aspects, but to me that direct definitely delivered. It wasn't a smash hit like some recent ones have been, but it showed off what I wanted to see while saving a lot of mysteries for the release. Now, as I mentioned, many people are upset about this direct, and one main point of contention is the last character they revealed. They revealed a piranha plant. Not even PD piranha or anything like that, just a literal piranha plant. In this video, I'm going to be trying to rationalize the decision explaining why it was made to include this character as a fighter, and to try and reason with everyone who's upset about this. I have five reasons and let's just get into them right now. So for the first reason, it is because the Piranha Plant is kind of Ultimate's what the fuck character. There are a lot of WTF characters in Smash. Obviously in Smash 4 we got the Wii Fit Trainer, uh, that, like, what? There's always been at least one just random character that no one asked for, and Piranha Plant is definitely that. Not only is it a pretty interesting way to get introduced to new characters and different and unique fighting styles, but it is also a great marketing move in order to get people talking about the game. It's something Sakurai loves to do to get people talking, so that partially explains why. Number 2, Piranha Plant is currently being marketed as the pre-order bonus. Now unfortunately we do not know too much about this, at least I am unaware or just unsure whether he is a limited time offer as in you can only get him during the limited time or he's free for a limited time but then you have to pay for him afterwards. But either way, it makes sense why they would include Piranha Plant, because a large subset of people are going to be getting this character free, just because a large subset of people are going to be getting the game right away. If they put in a really popular character like Banjo-Kazooie, Isaac from Golden Sun, Gino, someone who a lot of people want to get in, then there would definitely be people upset. Obviously a pre-order bonus is supposed to get people excited, and make them actually want to buy the game to get that bonus, but unfortunately if the bonus is too good then people are going to be pretty upset that some people get that bonus for free, and if the bonus is something like Banjo-Kazooie or a fighter pretty much everyone wants, then that would definitely stir up some controversies, so I think it was actually kind of smart putting the WTF character as that pre-order bonus. It's not a huge thing if you miss out on this character, but it's still a neat little exclusive for people who get it. The third thing is he's a small character, and frankly we haven't been getting too many of those as of late. Going over all the new characters for Ultimate, we got Inkling, which is medium-ish size, Ridley, K. Rule, Belmont, and Incineroar, who are all massive, and then Isabelle, who's small. That's not even counting echoes like Ken. So yeah, there's clearly been a large chunk of characters that have been big, or heavies, or whatever you want to call them. So it makes sense to choose a relatively smaller character, and from what we've seen, Piranha Plant is definitely very tiny. So those are three big reasons, but now we're going to get into more of the... Not trying to rationalize why the decision was made, just trying to reason with people who think it's terrible. Some people are like legitimately upset about this decision, and these last two reasons are for you. One, it could be worse. While yeah, a piranha plant does seem kind of like a really random choice, because well it is, there were many other choices that Sakurai could have chosen, but didn't. We know for a fact the man does like Minecraft, he could have put Minecraft Steve in, but he didn't. There's a ton of situations like that with characters that I think would have been far worse, but Sakurai didn't choose to put those in, so yeah, I mean, don't be that mad, it could always be worse. And last but not least, the fifth reason, not counting Piranha Plant, there are now 69 original characters. Not even counting Echoes. This man, Sakurai, is a god. He and his team have made one of the most hyped video games of all time, and every single character reveal is now an event. Can you just let the man have one character slot, Especially with Ultimate, every other character has been insanely wanted. 
from Ridley and K. Rule, the two most requested characters pretty much in Smash Bros. history, to Simon Belmont, another highly requested character, to even Isabel, who was very requested. Can we just let the man have at least one character slot? to let his creativity and passion just shine through. Sakurai's a wacky dude and we've seen this again and again. Just let him have one character slot out of all the newcomers to mess around and just have fun. If you're getting legitimately mad about a plant being in a video game, I think you need to calm down, okay? This man has slaved away for most of his life making these games. Just let him have a bit of fun. With that out of the way, those are three reasons why I think he's in, and two reasons just kind of reasoning with people who are upset. Let me know what you guys thought about this entire direct down in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? And yeah, that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I'm Thomas from the Switch Stop, signing off. Peace.